Hi, my name is Yana. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this top. It is kind of wonky, but we're just going to ignore that. And for this top, you can wear it in like, you know, just like this. Or you can also have this like off shoulder look, which I find is so cute. Um, yeah, let's just jump into the tutorial. <laughs> to start this mesh guppy top, we're going to obviously start off by making the mesh. And for this top, I've decided to switch the colors around. So I'm going to use the green as the mesh part and the white as the like top panel part so to start the mesh we're gonna grab either yarn and make a slip knot then we are going to be chaining our stomach length all right now i just made the chain and now we are going to be making a base row of single crochets but i'm gonna do half double crochets since my yarn is really thin so um single crochets are kind of like invisible for mine so i'm just gonna do half double crochets since it has this yarn over all right so now i made the base row and now we're gonna start on the mesh part so to start the mesh we are going to be chaining five we're gonna skip three and insert a double crochet into the fourth so one two three insert one in there that just goes for the first mesh now we're going to chain two, skip two, and place a double crochet in the third. Like so. Now we're just going to repeat that. So chain two, skip two, double crochet. Chain two, skip two, double crochet. Right, after you're done with the first one, we are going to... We're right here, so we're going to chain five again. Turn our work and place a double crochet on top of the double crochet from the first row. Now we're going to be chaining two and making a double crochet and the double crochet from the row below. And just repeat that. Like so. And once you're at the end, right here, where there's a chain 5, we're going to be inserting the double crochet into the chain 3, so into the middle. So now I'm going to do that until I have my desired length, so you can decide how long you want this to be. Alright, now I'm done with making my mesh, and I made a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 rows. Sadly not 10, actually. Maybe I should remove one. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going for a more cropped look, so I would recommend if you don't want a like totally cropped look, you can go longer, but I just kind of want to. And now we're just gonna cut off, so chain one and then... Right, and now we can actually take the mesh and the green yarn and just move it aside. So now we're gonna grab our white yarn and we are going to be making a chain. But for this part, we are not gonna be chaining our chest size like width but our chest height if that makes sense so instead of it doing really long we're gonna do it like the height of it because we're gonna be working this way instead of up so we're just gonna do a regular chain since i already have made like a dozen tops i already have like an estimate on how long i need this chain to be but if you don't if this is your first top, then I would just recommend obviously going to your body to check it. Um, and honestly, I would I would way rather it be too long than too short, obviously. Because, so I think I'm comfortable with this length. No, nah, it's too long. And then we're just going to start off by making a half double crochet in the stitch that we're in. And now we're just going to half double crochet into every single chain. So this is the first row of half double crochets. Now we're going to turn around. And if you know me, you know that I do not like starting my rows with chains. If you want to, go ahead. You can totally do that. I just personally wouldn't because I don't like the look of it since it leaves this like gap, since you're gonna skip a stitch. To start the second row, we're gonna place a double crochet into the back loop only, so in this one. The back loop 
is this loop right here so if you go into both it would be like this if you go into the front it would be like this if you go into the back it's like this so we're just gonna go into the back loop and we're gonna do that for every row so we're always gonna go into the back loop and we're gonna do that for every row we're only gonna go into the back loop and place a half double crochet and the reason that we're doing it is so that it gives this like bumpy textured look which is really cute so now we're just gonna now that i'm at the end once again i'm just gonna turn my work yarn over and insert a double crochet a half double crochet into the first stitch and then we're just gonna do it for every single row so always uh into the back loop Hi, editor me here. Um, I don't know why I lost the clip, I guess, but in the background you can see that I have this mesh panel as the backside instead of, you know, a regular half double crochet panel. And the reason I did that is because A, I am lazy and it is quicker. And second of all, honestly, I think that it looks better making one. So, so if you want to make it, how you want to make it is literally just chain five, skip two, double crochet, chain two, skip two, double crochet. So nothing special. I'm so sorry that the clip got lost. I seriously don't know where it went. But yeah, so if you want to make it, you can. If you don't, don't. It's totally up to you. Right, so now for this part, as you can see in the last voiceover background, we literally just want to slip stitch these panels together. Okay, so now I've just connected the back panel. So it's like one piece. All right, now I did a single crochet border around the mesh piece to make the slip stitching easier although honestly i think it's a bit unnecessary so if you want to do it you can but i don't think it's necessary and i shouldn't have done it in my opinion because i don't really think it looks that great so you know i would do it and now for this part what i was saying is that now we're just gonna slip stitch these parts together. If you wanna have it open back, you're gonna have to measure it out a bit more so that it's perfectly like straight and parallel. Although if you have a closed back, which is way easier, so I definitely recommend making a closed back. Closed backs are way easier than open backs because open backs, you really do have to measure out where you want it if you also have the top mesh piece like I do. I'm so sorry that this is so complicated. I'm just over explaining. But to connect everything you just want to make slip stitches like slip stitching all the way across and the way to do a slip stitch is into every single single crochet from the mesh bottom piece you're gonna go into one mesh square twice and for the half double crochet panel you're gonna go into every single stitch of the mesh piece and every single row of the half double crochet panel all right so it's it's been a few days since i continued working on this uh top and that is because i could not figure out how to do the sleeves i was struggling and i tried three times so three times i made sleeves two sleeves and failed because it just didn't look right it, it looked kind of weird you know but i finally found a sleeve that looks really really good and it like you can wear it on your shoulder and like kind of on a like a like a off shoulder kind of look you know all right for the sleeve part we are going to work on the front side of our project so that it looks nicer and we're going to slip stitch into our shoulder area that you have measured out and we're going to slip stitch in there then we're going to chain five and then we are going to skip two and double crochet into the third row since we are on the side of a double crochet panel a half double crochet panel we are going to act as if every row is a half double crochet from the top so we are just going to make regular mesh squares for five mesh squares so once we have five mesh squares we're going to turn our work and then we're going to chain five once again and now we're going to do two increased rows of mesh to do an increased row of mesh, we are going to be placing two double crochets into the first mesh square and into the last one. And those two double crochets are still going to be connected by a chain two. So we're going to chain five, place a double crochet into the first mesh square. Then we're going to chain two, 
place another double crochet into that mesh square. Then we're going to chain two and then place one double crochet into the next one, etc. Once we reach the end, we're going to place two double crochets into that last mesh square once again. So obviously you want to separate them by chaining two. And after we've done that two times, so for two rows, so that you have increased by four, I think. And then we are just going to work normal mesh rows for your shoulder length. Obviously for the increase part, you can make it bigger if you want to or if you need it to be bigger. But for me, two increases work out. But to do the normal rows, we are literally just going to go back to doing one double crochet into every single square for as long as we need to. Then at the end, once you have reached your desired length, we are going to be making decreases. Since at the start we did increases, we're going to be doing decreases. To do a decrease, we're going to do the opposite of what an increase is. So we're just going to skip the first and last stitch. But since we can't really skip the last stitch, we're going to skip the one before the last one. So here you can see we are going to place one in the third before the last. And then we are going to skip the second last and go into the last mesh square and then place a double crochet. We're still always going to chain two between them. We're going to do that for two rows so that at the end we have five mesh squares again. And then we are going to slip stitch that five mesh squares onto the back of the half double crochet panel or the back of your top. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching it. This is how your top should look like. And honestly, I'm so obsessed with how it turned out. I love the shoulders. I love the, like, this design. I love the mesh. And I love how it's kind of cropped, but not too cropped. I'm just really obsessed with this entire top. And it's such a cute top. And thank you so much to the person who suggested it. On that note, I just want to apologize that it took me a month to make this like I just looked back to find your comment and it took me a month I'm so sorry why did it take me this long thank you so much for your idea I wouldn't have thought to crochet this top but but it turned out so adorable and I'm so happy I made it because I love it and it's gonna be such a statement in my summer closet I really really like it but yeah since this is the end thank you so much for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have any requests, questions, or suggestions, or whatever, you can comment them down below and I will make sure to reply to them if they're a question, obviously. <laughs> and I promise this time it won't take me a month to make them. I'm new to this thing, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> so once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you in the next video. Bye-bye!